Oh, hello there. Let me just... Oh, get up here. I'm here to talk to you about the rules of editing. Here we have the very first, and I mean the very first, piece of pure American film history. This 14 minute long train journey was filmed by the great Thomas Edison, who decided to film long shots of trains travelling across America. Here he is, shown to the right. Here are the editing profiles from the ages, ranging from the early days to the later century. Now this clever chap is Edwin Stanton Porter. In 1939, Edison hired Porter as his understudy to create short films alongside him. This epic classic tells the tale of an American fireman. The use of transitions and different locations added a new aspect to the film as well, as well as adding an action packed story. So what is editing? Editing makes the action flow on screen. Actually, take a look at this. Editing. Whether it be in film or television is when the editor works with raw footage selecting specific shots then combining them into sequences ultimately creating a finished motion picture. <sighs> and I bet you want to know what it's used for. It is used for montages, experiments, showing emotional truth and giving a point of view to an obtuse event. Telling and pacing a story as well as giving an illusion of danger when there is none and emphasising little things that go unnoted. A classic example of a montage is the stint from Rocky. Now, I bet you're wondering what's included when editing comedy. You need to include 51% emotion, 23% story, 10% of rhythm, 7% eye trace, 5% two dime plane of screen, and 4% of three dime space of action or set. When editing comedy, timing is key. Comedy editors have to be the actors as well as the audience in order to respond to laughter. They have to set up the joke, show rhythm of the scene, set up the tone of the audience, build it up, then delivery. Let's take a look at a prime example, Two and a Half Men. What's a booty call? Well, it's... You know, this is more the kind of thing a, a, a son should learn from his father. Oh, okay. Maybe you should ask him now. <laughs> Alright. I'm going to hell. I figured you didn't want me telling him. Was I wrong? <laughs> the editor is in charge of delivering the punchline, then dictating the length of the shot by watching the scene and cutting it after they laugh themselves. Good, eh? Laurel and Hardy editor David Lean once stated, Tell them what you're going to do, do it, then tell them you've done it. A great example of this is South Park. Up until recent years, animators on South Park used Toon Boom and Coral Draw. These are two 3D computer graphic workstations linked with an alias ID4 wavefront that allowed them to create 10 to 15 shots per hour. Here is how they do it. I'm going down to South Park, gonna have myself time. Friendly faces everywhere, humble folks without temptation. Going down to South Park, gonna leave my world behind. Nowadays, cartoons like South Park and Scooby Doo use Maya or motion software, as it is more defined and is able to cause its fluid motion. I will now explain the different cuts when editing. The editor's cut or assembly cut is when both the editor and director discuss the dailies or what to edit in each shot. This is known as refining the rough. The director's cut is when all shooting of the film is completed. The director collaborates again with the editor fitting the shots to the director's initial vision. This is the longest process. 
Then finally is the final cut. The director leaves the editor to it. The subsequent cuts are then supervised by producers that represent the company or studio. Then boom! You've got yourself an edited motion picture. Woo! I'll explain the typical codes and conventions when editing. Nice guy. Has no idea how close he is to the wood chipper. <laughs> Then there's telling of the story. Editors must include plot information, emotions and reactions, experience the characters have, substance to the story so it doesn't drag, and most importantly, making the edit invisible. Hello? Alan, you home? Candy? What are you doing here? It's a really sweet gesture, but this is not a great time. Hey, Dad, what's a booty call? <laughs> oh, oh, hey, hey, Jake, you, uh, you, you remember Candy? Sure. Hi, Candy. Yeah. Hi. So what's the booty call? I figured you didn't want me telling him. Was I wrong? Editing transitions are often used to blend two shots together that don't usually match up. These can be shown to pass time or just make the reaction shots flow better. Again, let's take a look at the same sequence from Two and a Half Men. Well, uh, Jake, it, it, it means uh, uh, that Candy came by to, to, uh, to do her laundry. I don't see any laundry. Uh, well, uh, uh, you see, Jake, um, uh, uh, cowboys uh, could be out on the, the dusty range uh, uh, for months at a time. Well, we've come to the end of my documentary on the cutting room floor. Thank you for watching and goodbye.